Hello there, and welcome to Visual Aid 5002A, the Rev Tracker General Guide. In this Visual Aid, I'm going to be going over Work Instruction 5002A, the Rev Tracker General Guide. Um, in this, we're going to just briefly touch on some of the major points in here, go in an order, and then we'll take a look at what these look like in Excel. So, the purpose of this work instruction is to cover all the features of Rev Tracker and how to use it to create a redlined Excel workbook. All right, moving down to responsibility. It's the responsibility of whoever on your document specialist team um, that kind of controls your revisioning and redlining process. Um, this is used as a starter. We have the Word document up on our engsuite.org slash revtracker slash documentation to get you started. That way, you don't have to do a lot of the groundwork when making your work instruction. All right, and now we are in our Excel workbook, and we're going to go to the Review tab and click the Track Changes button, just like you would in Word. And this is going to open up the Rev Tracker task pane. So if you go to Work Instruction 5002A, in Section 6 about Track Changer, you'll find out that the task pane has to be open in order to track changes. Rev Tracker is only running the code and, and listening to the workbook for events when this task pane is open. So anything done with this open will be tracked, and anything done with it closed will not. And that's really important to remember when you're doing this, because you want to make sure that this is open if you're going to be redlining your document. So as I mentioned, any change here, so this will be tracked. And so if I click this Show Changes, you'll see that a comment appears. And it just gives you some information about the change about who made it and when that change happened. When I don't want to see that anymore, I just click Hide Changes and it disappears. Something important to note is that you can't use the Undo or Redo buttons built into Excel, but we've added these handy dandy change buttons there for Undo and Redo. And that's all that the Change Tracker section can do. So let's jump down to Section 7, Revision Tracker. In this, you'll notice that there's a clear red line button. We'll get to that last, um, but I put it right on the top because this revision thing can get very, very long here depending on how many revisions you have. And when I'm ready to save a revision, I can save it as alpha or numeric. So we'll start with revision 1. So we save as revision, and now you'll notice we have a revision 1 down here. If I try to show my changes, nothing happens. That's because those changes have now been taken out of the active in between version of the document and placed into revision one. So if I click the show changes there, my change will now show up and I can hide them. Okay, super cool. Now, let's go in here and let's take a look at what happens if we want to add a new setting, right? This will be tracked as rev two. So now we're gonna rev up to rev two and we'll save as revision. So we'll hit Show Changes. And something you want to make sure you do is the way that this works now, because they updated the way that comments work, it looks like my revision wasn't tracked unless I click on that. Very confusing if you used to use comments a lot. Um, it took me a long time while debugging this to figure out that they updated and for some reason now don't show all of the comment, okay, the whole thread. So, now we have our multiple revisions. We're ready to save this and deploy it as Rev2, okay? Before I click this clear red line button, I'm going to want to save this as a master red line because this clear red line button will remove all track changes, all revisions, and just leave a normal workbook. So we want to be very careful before we click that button. So this is just a test. I'm not going to go through and actually save it, but make sure that you do. So when we're ready, we'll click clear red line. And there's a nice little warning in case you accidentally bump this. It says, are you sure you want to clear the red line? So this is permanent, can't be undone. And you know, just reminder, so don't move forward if you aren't ready for the release version. If you've saved your master red line and this is your release, go ahead and click yes. Now all of your changes have disappeared. You can save this as your release version and you're ready to go with a master red line containing all of your changes, all of your revisions, and a release-ready version for you. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and please do something awesome. <music>